Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vincent. I'm part of the Thinker team. We are a French uh, company and we work on everything uh, related. We do a lot of training from beginner to expert, but we also uh, love to put R into production. And so we create a lot of packages, but also, also a lot of shiny application. Uh, these shiny application are customer orders, so they need to work in production. So today I want to present you uh, the Golem package. Uh, Golem is a framework which will help you to create, maintain, and deploy a shiny application. Like every Air product, it's quite easy for everyone to create a shiny application. Uh, you can ask every beginner to create an app and you will have an app. You just have to wait a, a few weeks and you will have an application. But this application will mainly not be good enough to go in production. You will have issues concerning uh, security, velocity, maintainability, and you will have a lot of problem uh, when you want to deploy this app in a professional context. Um, there is a lot of way of doing an application, but not so much good way to do so. And uh, we think that Golem could be a good way to create a shiny application. Uh, so why using Golem? Golem will help you to save a lot of time because it's a framework with a re really nice uh, process step you have to follow to create an application. It will force you to work cleanly because everything is well uh, shaped. Uh, it will help you to work with uh, many people on the same project and it will allow uh, you to uh, very uh, efficiently deploy your application. Um, before going into deeper into Golem, I have to introduce you the notion of uh, R package. You already know what a package is, but uh, in R, everything should be a package. Every product you made using R should be inside the package. Uh, why? Because using a package, you will ding, you will sorry, you will uh, manage efficiently uh, everything concerning dependency. Uh, you will have uh, a nice. Uh, a nice tool to deploy your job. Uh, creating a package is, is not an expert concern. Everyone can do this. It's quite easy and fast to do. Uh, so let's have a look to a uh, simplified way to um, put a shiny application inside the package. So left, um, as you can see, this is a directory tree. And uh, to um, embed your application, you, you just have to put the server.r and the ui.r file inside the ins folder of your package. As you may notice, uh, it doesn't work, okay. Um, and then you just need to create a function will, which run your application. This is a simple function which will uh, load uh, an application inside the app folder of your package called uh, demo shiny in this example. This is a nice way to do, but Golem is more ambitious. So let's go uh, into Golem now. The first step, you can install Golem from GitHub. And if you use RStudio IDE, you can create a package for Shiny App using Golem, uh, a new project. In this example, I create a Golem called My Golem. And that is the directory tree it creates for you. Uh, you will see a dev folder containing uh, a set of uh, useful scripts. I will uh, show you later. And uh, you see inside the ins folder that the app folder is now quite empty. There is no more server.r and ui.r file, but you have uh, some functions inside the r folder, the app server.r file and the app ui.r file. Let's have a look to these files. Inside the app UI files, uh, you, are, you will find the app UI function. Uh, as you may notice, it's just a free page in this example, but you can edit uh, this uh, instruction by putting everything you want, a shiny dashboard, for example. Uh, in this file, there are also uh, the golem add external resources, which is a function will manage for you every external resources. For example, JavaScript file, CSS file. 
The other function is the app server function. This is just a um, classical uh, shiny server function. And if you, are, if you want to edit the UI, you edit the app UI function. If you want to edit the server part of your application, you have to edit the app server file. And if you want to launch to see your application, you can launch the run app function. This function is a little, is a little bit tricky because it's used a with golem option function, which is a tricks to allow you to use the options inside your Shiny application. So you install your package with the remote install local function, for example, and then you can run the run app function from my golem package and you have your application. But um, building a package could be time consuming. Um, you don't want to wait one or two minutes uh, the installation process. So uh, I suggest you to use the run dev file. This file contains three main functions. These functions, uh, the first one, uh, will detach all loaded packages. The second one will uh, quickly, really quickly, reload and install your package uh, in, your, in your machine, and then you can uh, launch your application. So during the development process, you have to edit the UI part, the server part, and run the script to instantly see your application. When the job is done, you want to deploy your application. There is two main ways to deploy your application today. Uh, the first way will, will be based on uh, Docker for example, using Shiny Proxy. So you can use the functions add Docker file or add Docker file Shiny Proxy. This function will create for you a Docker file you can use to create a Docker image and to deploy wherever you want. The second solution will be based on the RStudio uh, solution. For example, if you use the add RStudio Connect file, you will be able to use uh, simply the blue button inside your RStudio IDE to deploy your Golem inside uh, any RStudio Connect uh, you want. Now let's go deeper into the deployment, uh, the development process. Um, first step is to use the o1start.org file. Uh, this script contains a succession of uh, steps you can follow. The first step will use uh, the field desk function and this function will fill for you the description file of your uh, package. There are a lot uh, other functions to, to run. For example, the use recommended depth function will add uh, a bulk of um, useful other package as dependencies. Uh, we promote the use of the use this package, so there are already uh, a lot of uh, use this instruction you may want to run to choose the licenses to add a readme and so on. And there are two uh, other functions, for example, the use utils UI will create for you a bulk of uh, useful function to um, create a nice UI. Uh, this is simply uh, some wrapper around uh, HTML script. For example, the readbr function we we'll just repeat the BR uh, instruction. Same thing for the server part. Have a look to the not null function, not NA function. It's just dummy function, but really useful where, when you create uh, a project. So if you use the use util server, you will have this uh, function inside your golem. When you create a big, ambitious, uh, shiny application, you may need to use uh, JavaScript files, and you may want to edit some CSS files, uh, but inside the package, it could be difficult to know where do I have to put the JS, the CSS. So we create a function, uh, a set of function, uh, for example, the add JS file, add CSS file, and this function will create for you a nice uh, JavaScript template or a nice CSS template for your Golem. Uh, last but not least, um, we promote the use of Shiny module. Uh, you, don't, you, don't, uh, uh, you can't use Golem, you can use Golem without module, but with module is, is very efficient. So what is a Shiny module? It's a way to split your application into small pieces. 
Uh, why using module? Because it will save you uh, a lot of conflict between namespace. Uh, some module could be reusable inside your application or outside in another golem, for example. And it, it's uh, avoid from having too long files. So creating a module, it's not a big deal, but you have to follow some rules. And to be sure not to forget anything, we create these functions. This function will create for you a file inside our folder containing two functions. As the first functions here, uh, will manage the UI of your module and the second one, the server part of your module. You just have to fill both of these functions and then you can copy and paste uh, this instruction here and here, this one in the UI and this one in the server part. So uh, every nice uh, Golem application is just um, a lot of modules uh, put together in the same project. Um, don't forget that Golem is a package. So everything you already know about package should be used, can be used uh, during the development process. Please do documentation, do unit testing. You can use continuous integration, you can use continuous deployment on everything you already know about package deployment or development. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to go deeper inside the shiny process creation, I uh, suggest you to read uh, this article. This is not an article, this is a book about uh, shiny deployment. Golem is just a part of the whole process. So you may find uh, many, uh, many useful uh, tricks inside this book. Um, you may uh, have a cheat sheet inside your conference bag on uh, Golem. Uh, feel free to ask me if you want more to share uh, in your company or other. Um, I already know that some of you already use Golem and I'm glad of it. Uh, feel free to um, give, me, give us some feedback about uh, Golem into production. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vincent. Do we have questions? Thank you for the nice talk here. <laughs> um, how would you extend the Golem uh, workflow to, for example, flex dashboards directly from R Markdown created and, and deploy that as, a, as an app? Um, I already saw some flex dashboard inside the package. Uh, I don't remember where. Um, so I think it's quite easy to use uh, to do so. But uh, I didn't do it by myself, so now I don't know. But I, 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 it's possible, but I don't know how to do this for now. Okay. Uh, so thank you for the presentation. Uh, you mentioned that there is a function in Golem to add a Docker file to yes. package. Uh, does this function care about uh, our package dependencies? Of course, yes. Okay, so Dockerfile already, already contains it. This, Sorry? This Dockerfile which is created by package function already uh, contains dependencies. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's very nice. Hi, thank you for the presentation. Uh, it's a question related with the previous one, uh, the Docker file function generation. Uh, for example, if you are using spatial libraries, or it's al it also take a, uh, well, is in charge of uh, system dependencies <laughs> of the Docker file or no? Um, we have to try this, uh, especially for spatial libraries. Uh, in my case, I use a geospatial uh, Docker file. So uh, uh, Golem in today don't know how to select the correct uh, subversion of uh, the Erverse uh, Docker. Uh, he, he will try to install the SF package, but if you don't have the JDAL and so, you will have a lot of issue. Yeah. So 
it's not magic. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And what about deployment? Uh, uh, what solution do you recommend to go with Golem? Uh, Shiny Server, Shiny Server Pro, Shiny Proxy, do they all work? Golem is agnostic about this um, topic. So you may want the solution you prefer or you have to use. If you have Air Connect, it's quite easy to deploy. If you don't have Air Connect, you can create a Docker like you want. You can, uh, you can also just share a, a zip file of your package if you want to, to give your, your application. Thank you.